What's up heroes, Jake from Love Sage Heroes here. We're going to do part 8 of Onimusha's Warlord playthrough on the Nintendo Switch. So we're starting off with Kaide and Samonosuke just got trapped far below the underworld. So we're going to talk to this gentleman here. And right before he passes, he's going to give us a red key. And the red key is going to unlock the red door that we've passed several times early on in the game. So now we're going to head to the west part of the map. So we'll take the red key and we'll exit out of the keep. Now when I'm playing Kaide, I typically like to run past most of these enemies here. If you're trying to get an S rank and you can master Kaide, it might be advantageous to try and take them out, but especially with her weapon being so weak, I find it to be more of a waste of time. Grab this herb in this chest here. And we'll have to come back to that door. I don't go down the well. Down the well is just the Mothman who unlocks one of the in-game mini-games, so we'll worry about that with Sam Minosuke later on. Now, I'm thinking this guy gives you something if you can take out those archers up there, but I don't really know how. So I'm going to head far west on the map um, because I want to grab the cog before I do anything. So here's the third decoder box. And we're going to complete this so that we can get uh, Magic Jewel. We won't be able to use the Magic Jewel with Kaide, but it'll be there with Sam Minosuke. They do have a shared inventory. So there's our Magic Jewel. Kaide has pretty low health, so I'm going to do a quick save here, just in case we die. It's unlikely, but... So now that we got the wooden gear, we can head back. Um, we're going to grab a gold and silver plate, so we won't be able to go through that door. And I always grab the wood gear first. Um, it is a little bit of backtracking, but it's the natural order of things. If you don't grab the wood gear, you're going to find yourself making this trip a couple more times than necessary. So we'll head up this ladder. And again, we'll come back to open up that door with Sam Minosuke. So we just got the west area map. Use the shinobi kit to unlock these doors. And the way the game is designed, Kaide is the only one that can use the shinobi kits. So that way, she goes down paths that Sam Minoski cannot. I love that move. If you can flip over their head and cut their throat, it's an instant kill. So here is going to take a little bit of finesse. We have to pull this chain and then get past these three waves of flames in order to get through that door before it closes. Ah, uh, just missed it. I'm gonna get tore up by these flames here. I'm gonna pop a herb because I didn't I didn't save too recently. So I'm going to let this first flame get about halfway through its cycle, then pull the tab. And now I should be able to make my way across and through the door. I'm going to break these boxes, expose an herb. And when I pull on this tab, it'll keep the door unlocked and it will shut off the flame traps. 
So here we get the gold plate and now the next thing we have to do is get the silver plate. So in this room, there's a journal entry and a book on top of the shelf for the one of the decoder books, so don't forget that. And grab this chest that's kind of obstructed by view and hidden. And we're going to open this cabinet. And we're not going to pull the rope yet. What we're going to do is grab the wooden gear. Insert that, and then we can pull the string. And that's why you grab the wooden gear first, so you don't have to come back to this area. So in this chest we find the silver plate. We'll grab another decoder book. And we're gonna find fluorite number eight. At this point, the only thing we have to do is just make our way back to that door um, on the far west side of the map. Do a quick save, just in case. Go up this ladder. Retrace our steps here. Again, I'm not going to even try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. So now just hit start, go to your item, drop the silver plate on the right side. And we're going to head to the left and rinse and repeat. We're almost to the end of Kaide's short journey in this portion of the west map, but we're gonna grab fluorite number nine. We're going to go up the stairs here and make sure we don't forget this because this puzzle box will have Kaide's alternate weapon, which is like twice as strong. So we have five moves. We'll do middle, left twice, and then right twice. Then I'll unlock this puzzle box. And again, we'll get the sacred knife. It's the only weapon upgrade for Kaide. So you have to equip it manually. You go to start, highlight your knife, and then just select it. Now we could head straight down the stairs, but we're going to head to this back room. Make sure not to step into the flames. I'm going to break these pots and we'll get another decoder book. Some more kunais. And with Kaide, you can throw your kunais or your kunais by hitting X. So we'll cut these tentacles, head through this door, and this is going to lead to a short cutscene with Princess Yuki. Uh, This is gonna take a awkward turn here as my main boo and my side chick finally meet. There's a lot of respect going on between these two or something else. Yuki 
Princess Yuki envies Kaide because Kaide can travel and it's interpreted to have all this freedom where Princess Yuki has to stay trapped in the castle. Humbly tells her to forget about her. But it's not gonna happen. And of course it wouldn't be this easy. It's really hard to take Shellface head seriously. And we're gonna have to take this guy out. We're gonna fight them quite a bit through this last part of the game and they're pretty obnoxious. They'll go invisible or cloaked and go underground and travel to another location. Sometimes they'll jump up and do a long slash with their sword. But we cannot progress through that door until we, we take him out and this is not a good spot you want to die so make sure you, you use any herbs that you feel you need to. taking him out that'll lift the curse on the door we'll be able to proceed through there and that's going to be it for Kaide's part in this story and that's it for part eight of Musha the warlords playthrough so guys i'll see you at part nine and thanks for watching